Happy St. Patty's Day! So I was doing a little bit of research this morning and I realized how little I know about Irish music during the Baroque period. I hope your Irish ancestors didn't hear you admit that. Yeah, I know. So I decided to make you guys a bonus video this week. Welcome back to Kaylee's Chronicles. Up until the 18th century, harpists were the most valued musicians and funded by the aristocracy in Ireland. Sadly, this tradition started to die out at the beginning of the 18th century during the collapse of Gaelic Ireland. Yeah! I love the Tudors. What a great TV show, right? Carlach O'Carolan. Are you sure you're pronouncing that right? Is the best known of these harpists and is considered by many to be Ireland's national composer. He was born in 1670 in County Meath and later moved when his father got a job working for the McDermott Rowe family of Alderford House. Unfortunately, at 18 years of of age, Turlock was blinded by the smallpox. He was already excelling in poetry and luckily Mrs. McDermott Rowe was looking out for him and got him apprenticed with a good harpist. At age 21, he was given a horse and a guide to help him get around and he set off to tour Ireland to compose songs for patrons. Turlock toured Ireland for 50 years composing and performing songs. At age 50, he married Mary McGuire and they settled into their family home in County Leitrim where they had six daughters and one son. Turlock died March 25th. 1738 and was buried in the McDermott Row family crypt. Now there's an annual O'Carlin Harp Festival that commemorates his life and work in County Roscommon. And in 1986, Patrick Hillary, the President of Ireland, unveiled a statue showing Turlock playing the harp. Many of his tunes were not published in his lifetime but survived through the oral tradition to be published later. The first publication to contain his works was published in 1724 and to this day his songs continue to be performed and enjoyed. So on this lovely St. Patrick's Day, a few days from the 278th anniversary of O'Carlin's death. I would like to raise a glass to all the great Irish composers out there and wish you a night of excellent food and dance. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, stay hip. I'd like to raise a glass. Well, it's a can, but it's the symbolic gesture. There's an annual O'Carlin bridge. Charlock O'Carlin. Charlock O'Carlin. Ugh, damn it. Charlock O'Carlin. Ugh, should not drink Guinness without breakfast. Happy St. Patty's Day! Actually blinded by a spout, by a spout. A spout. Interesting. No. Glasses and headband. Yep, I look cool. Uh, thank you much, Lee. Two sips of Guinness before breakfast and I am drunk.